welcome to Healthfully Rooted Home. This is Kiri with the blog, healthfullyrootedhome.com, where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. And today I am gonna tell you guys how I clean and maintain my enameled Dutch oven. white, by the way, so I can see every little speck on it. So I'm gonna show you how I clean that today, and I have a little trick for that. If you do like what I did, and you bake sourdough bread, so you're baking it at a really high temperature in the oven, and you do that without cleaning it first, then this happens. And so, I know better, but I keep my, you've probably seen it in my other videos when I'm cooking, I keep my Dutch oven on my stove at all times. I think it looks cute, it's white, it's functional, I think it looks good. Anyways, I keep it on my stove at all times and so things splatter on it. And if I don't clean it before I cook with it, that's what happens. So it's pretty dirty right now. I have a trick that I use to get this clean every single time. So my first tip when it comes to maintaining your enameled Dutch oven is to, first of all, make sure that it's clean before you cook on it, especially before you put it in the oven and especially before you put it in the oven at a high temperature. And especially, especially if you keep it out on your stove all the time, like I do, because things will inevitably splatter on it that you may not be able to see because maybe it's an oil or something like that that you don't see. My second tip is this. I just use this glass stovetop cleaner. This is the only thing that I have used on my Dutch oven that works. I've tried scrubbing with like the scrubby part of a sponge. I've tried like my bamboo brush with soap and really, really hot water. I've tried soaking it. None of that works as well as this does. There's something about the material on this um, that just works perfectly for enameled cast iron uh, Dutch ovens. So this is what I use and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Another thing I love about this cleaner is that it is non-toxic. It's super cheap. It's multi-purpose, so the one I get is the Wyman glass stovetop cleaner. So first, you just get it wet. I just kind of go around in it like that, around the lid, and then I take my bamboo scrub brush and I just start scrubbing. And it, everything in there that has been like burnt on comes off within like seconds. It's pretty crazy. So I don't know what it is about this material, but it works. And so sometimes I also use this scrubby part of the sponge if I really need to get some elbow grease into it and um, you know like if this doesn't give me the leverage I need to like really get in there then I use that and you could see my Dutch oven was really bad this time so I have to do a couple rounds of this Another thing that I use this glass stovetop cleaner for is our sink. If you have a stainless steel sink like I do, then you know it can get really dirty really fast and just look gross after washing like one dish. I can use this too. It makes it look so shiny and pristine. So this is not a single use object in your house. I've found multiple uses for it. So. That's what I use. So there you have it. That is how I clean my enameled Dutch oven. A couple things that I'll note is that this time I did have to use 
a sponge. I don't usually use a sponge. Usually just my scrub brush works perfectly fine. This time though, it was really bad. I was cooking sourdough bread, 500 degree oven. That stuff was caked on there. And so I had things that were, were caked in like the grooves of the cast iron that I had to be able to fold the sponge to get inside of the crevices. I don't typically have to do that. Usually just this and then even kind of just like a light scrub of my brush works fine to get everyday things off. Another note is that Lodge actually has a cleaner that is really similar to this. I like this better though. I found that it's pretty much the same material and I can always get it for two bucks on sale at either like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Grocery Outlet. If you want to learn how to clean and season and maintain a non-enameled cast iron skillet, the video for that is right here. I have lots of recipes for cast iron cooking um, and one pot Dutch oven cooking on my blog. Just go to healthfullyrooted.com and go to clean cooking and I have lots of stuff on there about cast iron cooking and lots of recipes. Again, this is Curie with healthfullyrootedhome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Thanks.